God bless you. Have a good night. Pray for me then. How can I pray for you? That's uh, you know, they're, they're driving kind of crazy around here. <laughs> Two situations. Yeah. First of all, my name's Tony. I'm James. James, good to meet you, James. I'm trying to clear out some help. Came back over here. I'm trying to go get my car. I'm out of gas. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get some help. Get some couple of dollars to get gas. Yeah. But I have a mess. So, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. So. James, do you have any particular spiritual beliefs? I believe in God. Yeah? What What is that now? Many people would say that and, me, and mean different things. So. From a child, when I was seven, my mother switched over, rest her soul, uh -huh. to Jehovah's Witness. So, I know God through and through. Okay. I know so, God. did you grow up in the Jehovah's Witness I was, religion? I grew up in Jehovah's Witness, but I also grew up in church, too. Okay. Yeah. So, so, James die today crossing one of these busy crazy streets people are mad they're angry they're looking at their phones all of that because the the roadway's all messed up right if you were to get hit by a car and die today and stand before god and obviously i don't want any of that to happen to you but if you were to die and stand before god and god asks you james why should i allow you into my kingdom why should i allow you into heaven how would you answer that Really, there's no real answer to give him about that because we all don't sin. But yeah. I have gave my heart and my body, my my my, my carcass, whatever you want to call it, uh -huh. to him. Yeah. Who believe that? And, and and what does that mean when you say I gave all of my heart and all of my body to him? What does that look like I in turn, James's life? I, in James' life, I don't turn everything over because there's things I can't do. Yeah. So, like I got MS. Uh -huh. Yeah, my mom had MS. Lived with it for three or four decades. I'm real sick, and I stay in and out of the hospital. I mean, I just ask God every day to walk with me. Walk with me. Cover my back. I'll watch the front, protect my whole body. I ask him every day. So he watches your back, you watch the front. So how good do you think you have to be, James? Really? I feel like you should be 100% when it comes to God. Okay, yeah. Because and if He gives you 100%. We don't walk, God don't walk away from us. We walk away from him yeah. every time. Yeah, and you said give 100%. Jesus said, you'll find it in Matthew 5, 48. Jesus said, you are to be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. And what he meant by that was if you're going to, if you're going to try to, to make yourself right with God by giving 100%, then you have to be perfect in thought, word, and deed from cradle to grave. Well, has like, that been you? It hasn't been me. It hasn't been me. We, okay, so then where's your hope then? If God expects perfection, if you're going to try to give 100%. Right now, sir. Where's your hope? My hope is that I live by Galatians 5.26. Which says? 5.25, I think 5.26 or 5.25. Live by the Spirit, walk with the Spirit. Right? Okay. Live with the Spirit, walk with the Spirit. I try and live my life that way. Okay, so... Not to be argumentative, but even in that, James, if if your if your hope in going to heaven one day is trying to live your life that way, and Jesus says you are to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, James, you and I are without hope because neither one of us can walk by the Spirit perfectly. Only one man that walked over to perfect, and that was Jesus. Right, right. See, so James, we'll switch now. Let's say you were to ask me that question, and you said, "Hey, Tony." If you were to die to stand and stand before God today and God asks you, why should I allow you into my kingdom? My answer would be this, James. God, you shouldn't let me in. Because I've broken your law every day of my life, if not in my actions, in my mind, with my mouth. Yeah, you're right. I, I've broken your law every day. What I deserve from you, God, what you owe me is you your you is your wrath against my sin. You shouldn't allow me into heaven. But I know you're going to let me in. Not because I'm good, but because you are. Not because of who I am, but in spite of who I am. Not because of what I've done, but in spite of what I've done. And the reason I could say that, James, okay. is because God the Father sent His Son to earth in the person of Jesus Christ. Truly God, truly man, and without sin. He lived a life of perfection 
for some 33 years that Tony and James can't live for 33 seconds. Yet even though he knew no sin, as God in the flesh, he voluntarily submitted himself to the torturous bloody death of a Roman cross. He died a death he did not deserve to take upon himself, James, the punishment you and I both rightly deserve for our sins against God. And James, he forever defeated sin and death three days later when he rose from the grave. But if our hope is in anything at all but Christ, if it's in Jesus, if it's in, if our hope is in God covering our back and us covering the front, we're going to hell. If, if our hope is in believing in Jesus and, and trying to walk by the Spirit every day, we have no hope. Our trust, our hope, our faith has to be in Christ alone. The Watchtower Society, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't believe that. They believe you have to worry. They don't even believe that Jesus is the Son of God. They believe the, that these, he's the incarnation of Michael the Archangel and that you have to obey the Ten Commandments in order to get in, and no human being can perfectly obey those. Nobody. Every religion, James, created by man, whether it's the Watchtower Society, the Roman Catholic Church, the Mormons, um, the Muslims, mm -hmm. legalistic Christianity, whatever it might be, any man-made religion, James, is going to tell you that, yeah, believe, believe, a, believe a certain amount of things, believe certain things, James, and do this, that, and the other, and maybe it'll work out for you, but they can give you no hope. James, there is hope, but it's only found in Jesus Christ. That's your only hope, It's right? So, look, you're probably about my age. I'm 59. You're probably maybe younger than me? 48. 48, okay. 49. Okay, so we're same generation. But let's say you were a young man. Let's say you were a teenager, and you were my neighbor. And you came knocking on my door one day and you said, hey, Tony, I'm going to mow your lawn so that I could be your son. Okay. I'm going to say a couple of things. I might even have that look on my face. <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> right. to say a couple of things. I'm going to say, James, have at it. That honeymoon with the lawn is over. You're welcome to mow my lawn and I appreciate it. And you know what? I'm touched that you want to be my son. But James, mowing my lawn is never going to make you my son. Right. But what if, James, what if instead you were my son? Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And I come home one day and I see James mowing the lawn and I didn't tell him to do it. He drug himself out of the basement away from his video games and he's mowing the lawn. And I'm a skeptical dad. I'm thinking, what's up? James either wants the money in my wallet or he wants the keys in my pocket or he's got a girl to tell me about or something, something. right? But, James, you see me and you see me and you come running over and you say, Dad, Dad, yeah, I'm mowing the lawn. No, believe it or not, I don't want anything from you. Dad, I'm mowing the lawn because I love you and I'm thankful that you're my dad. That would make most grown men cry. Most people, James, believe that if they mow God's lawn, they're getting into heaven. They believe that if they live right, do right, be right, that they're gonna stand in front of God and say, hey, I've done this, that, and the other. I'm ready to come into your kingdom. You gotta do right. No, that, but that's just it, James. You can, never, you can never do right enough. Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? I got me. All right, man. All right. I ain't gonna make it. All right, good talking to you, James.